A Reading of Celestial Bodies by Brooke Smith. I'm Waverly McCollum and I'll be reading Artemis 6. And I'm Gretchen Nelson and I'll be reading Vega 6. At Rise, two female astronauts, codenames Artemis 6 and Vega 6, float in zero gravity aboard a manned spacecraft. What time is your exercise session today? 9.47. Ah. Yep. Last one. God. I won't miss those when I'm done. The belt digs into my waist and I'm always afraid the bungee cords will snap and I'll go floating up with the treadmill still running. I love them. Oh. Teach their own, I guess. Maybe I just haven't gotten used to them yet. I loved them the first day. You can't get that experience anywhere else. Running down towards the earth. It's exhilarating. Hmm. Like I said, maybe I'll adjust. How long's your mission? Six months. Oh, I'm so jealous. You've been here for six, right? 191 days. I'd stay twice as long. <laughs> you must really love space. I do. I'm sure I'll like it. It's just difficult, missing family and home. You're only on your second week. I know. I'm sure it'll get better with time. You're only on your second week and you're already missing things. That doesn't bode well. It's just natural, I think, to miss the places you love, the people you love. Not here. You have a mission to fulfill. That's what you should be thinking about. Who says I'm not thinking about the mission? I am. It's not wrong to miss your world. That doesn't have to be your world. You're in space now. You could have any number of worlds. That's something you can't experience back home. And when you get back, they won't understand. No one will know what you've been able to see. I'll keep that in mind. I'm sorry, I, I don't mean to be insensitive. I think I'm feeling a bit jealous. <laughs> you have so much time in front of you here and mine's almost up. It's all right. I understand. You don't, but that's okay. There are always trade-offs. It's been easy for me here, hard to go back. I expect for you, it'll be the opposite. What is it about being here that you love so much? I don't have to think about anything. My days are planned down to the minute. When it's time to eat, I eat. When it's time to exercise, I exercise. Work, sleep, even going to the bathroom, all of those things are scheduled. And as long as I follow that schedule, I'm successful and happy. That sounds stifling. On the contrary, I'm free here. I don't have to worry about anything external, and I get to be a part of something. Something that almost no one else in the world will get to do. Something big. I thought I wanted that, but I guess Earth was big enough for me. I almost wish we could switch places. I'd go back home and you could stay. <laughs> I've thought about that since you got here, but we always want what we can't have. Sure. The grass is always greener. Suspended in zero gravity, they stare down at the earth, its image looming large in front of us. End play. Beautiful! I think that was good! Oh. Okay.